Okay, welcome everyone to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We need to get our third rune, I think, right? Did we end up getting our second rune? Yes, we did. Thank goodness. I said, I always say that I forget, um, and I really do, so... Need to remember to get that Shoals rune whenever I skip it. Uh, my third rune will probably be Slime, most likely. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So I need to get Arc Road somehow. Um, and I do not have any. Well, shit. And also, I don't have really enough teleport to do Abyss well. I guess what I'll do is I'll go to Elf for now. Um, use this as a little bit of a grindy time. Uh, kind of, you know, just to make sure, just to see if I get any, like, potluck stuff. Um, with my character and all that. Like, I don't, I don't really know. I usually go to Elf when I have, like, kind of shitty resists. Or something is specific. Uh, something specific is missing that I really need to do to progress with the game. Because usually, uh, Elf has a pretty decent number of rings and uh, a couple of artifacts. So I'm just kind of gonna go through it to make sure. Also, I can get the uh, if I level up in here, I'll get the anti magic quick blade for for the stand, which will significantly boost the power of the stand, especially when fighting these kind of elves as well. So. I'll be in good shape once I, uh, once I start, you know, once I get to level 24, which is, I'm, I'm pretty close, which is why it's not too bad to go in here right now. With anti-magic, elf tends to be a bit easier, but like I said, I still don't like going into elf, it's just not a good idea most of the time, and I'll still stand by that. Clone pair of boots of nothing, I'm gonna just drop that. I still say that elf is really not, like, the best place to go, and I still would say beginners should never go in here. Um, mostly because it's a new area, it's an unnecessary area, and it's a great equalizer because it costs, uh, it, all the stuff in here that is going to kill you, like Abyssing, or Torment, or Damnation, or tons of summons, or, uh, high level conjurations, they don't really give a shit how strong you are, they just kind of kill you, so, you don't really want to deal with that. Uh, where is this summoner? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and transfer the summoner, um, next to me so I can just go ahead and kill him. It's kind of annoying. I'm trying to get six pips of piety back, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get it ever again. It's unfortunate. <laughs> I've been uh, a little bit screwed here for my piety, but that's alright. I think five pips is probably enough. I don't think we scale off piety at all, so whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, that elementalist is breaking all the walls down. It's a new addition to elf uh, in the last couple of versions. It's just... He just does whatever he wants, I guess. He just kind of breaks the walls down. Alright, I'm running out of uh, spell sl uh, item slots here. Let's see what we can drop. The evocations honestly probably should go off, but it's got so much synergy that I might as well just keep it. I have three evocables in this uh, on this character, and I also have like a pretty decent setup with the Wand of Acid and stuff, so I guess the evocations can stay. Um, what couldn't stay? Well, what's not very good right now? Flight Potion is probably not necessary, but I don't really need it. I think Brilliance Potion can probably go. I'm not really casting any spells that would require Brilliance. And honestly, Brilliance is one of the worst consumables in the game, except for a mage. Like, it's just not very spectacular. It gives you no real combat stats. Um, for a mage, of course, quite good. Oh, I should also drop these stones. That's another slot that I've just been holding on to for like 10 years. I just thought to myself, wait, I should probably use my breath weapon, and then I realized I was a Crave Draconian. I don't have anything like that. Unfortunate, really. Alright, another amulet. Uh, inaccuracy, that's garbage. Doesn't matter what else is on that thing. Inaccuracy is just not that good. Uh, there's a long sort of distortion here. I'm gonna try to keep away from that guy, if I can. It's this one over here, yep. I'm gonna just stab him a couple of times. Standing behind my stand and also my um, ally. Pretty helpful. Okay, he still has the Dagger of Draining, not quite the anti-magic yet. Oh, that's right, I don't need to fly either, because I can just walk straight through it. Uh, walk straight through deep water. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, Box of Beasts is actually pretty good, I'd say, especially at higher evo. It's quite decent. Summons a fairly mid-range summon, which is surprisingly good in a lot of situations. Um, Box of Beasts is one of my like, favorite uh, zero evo like, uh, evocables to use. It's quite, it's quite effective. Surprisingly so, almost. Okay, I'm gonna run away here. Just because things are getting a little bit nasty. I'm corroded. 
pretty heftily and my stand is a little bit off. Uh, it's perfect form. <sighs> Come on guys, let's just, let's just stop messing around, yeah? Let's stop blinking around and doing all these crazy things, I'm kind of sick of it already. Alright, uh, oh, a small side note, uh, I've been playing more Darkest Dungeon, I've already played like four hours, I've only played it for one day, um, it is a freaking good game, it's really fun. Uh, I minorly spoiled myself here just to make sure that what I was doing was on the right track, and yeah, I kind of had a good uh, idea of what was going what was going on in that game. Like, there's this class called the Leper, um, and he's he looks kind of like a paladin, sort of. I don't really know how to like explain that, but he's just not very good. Like that's he just he didn't feel good to play, and he was just not that good. All right, I picked up two books of summoning. Um, Lightning Spire is okay, but I don't think it's going to be incredible. Especially with our stand in the way. It's going to get really annoying really quick. Uh, Metabolic and Glaciation is not amazing, but it's not bad. Eh. Alright, I guess I'll just drop these spells. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn evocations off. At some point we dropped our book. And... Do we want anything else? Oh, I need to make my macro, that's right. Whoops. Come on. Okay, I keep I keep messing this up. Come on, guys. Macro Shift Q C. There we go. Jeez, that was annoying. All right, on Elf Three now. This is the this is the big boy area where we're a bit scared. I was wondering why I wasn't having like all my allies because my macros don't save for some reason. Probably because I'm closing the tab with Control W and not Control S. That's highly annoying, but whatever. Hey, a bazaar. How much gold do we have? Uh, four hundred seventy-four. Now. Because this is a bazaar that isn't timed, um, because this is a bazaar that's not timed, I can actually just wait for it. Yeah, see, so they'll wait for you, but once you get a chance to browse it, yeah, so this one's not timed, so I'm going to go through the entirety of L3 and then come back to the trove, and the main reason why I want to do that is because I want to gain any, ah, crap, did I just get, okay, no, I didn't get mutated, sweet. Um, I just want to do that to get as much gold as I can, so if I do make a purchase, I'll go in there and I'll be able to get some good stuff, hopefully. Now, the the, the bazaars that actually aren't timed tend to have shitty equipment. Like, they, they tend to sell much worse quality stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, if you read the lore, it says that. I'm not sure if that's actually said in that specific tile, but yeah, if the ones that are stable tend to have shittier stuff, and the ones that are uh, unstable tend to have better shops or something like that. Either better shops or like more shops, I forgot which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's lower quality stuff in the staple ones though. But you know, I might be wrong. I doubt it though, I'm right a disturbing amount of the time. Even though I don't really remember what's going on in this game, I just kind of know what's going on. Alright, this is the L3 area. This is a very scary spot to be in. I'm not level 24 yet, which is really unfortunate, but that's fine. Okay, I wasn't able to take out that demonologist, oh, that sorcerer that I was aiming for there. We'll just run away, get the Annihilator next to us, just kill him real quick. Just take out a couple of the dudes. So the strategy here for Elf and in general is always going to be the same. Um, just kind of stand at the entrance and run away, pretty much. Uh, they have changed it so that, with the introduction of the Elementalist, of course, the running away, stra uh, the standing there strategy isn't very good, but it still works. Uh, once you break, once they break a certain number of walls, like it doesn't matter what the position is, and if you're w running away the second you see them, it doesn't really matter either uh, how many walls there actually are. I'm gonna go ahead and shout here just to pull these guys up. Okay, heal up, go back down. Pull back up. So the stand died. I'm just going to go ahead and reset the fight now. Um, Alright. Alright, that was pretty bad. I could have just been abyssed a couple of times there. But I was hoping that my stand would come back. He didn't. I don't know if it was worthwhile to pre-buff in that spot. Right there. Um, the spectral weapon to increase the damage might have not been worth it to kill that one sorcerer. Because I might have killed him in that one turn that I... I took to uh, cast spells. Um, hmm. Should I cast? Should I buy into anything else? 
nothing really like is an issue. We have no issues with food. We have no issues with spell casting. We have no issues with anything really. I guess I'll just turn a bit of pole arms on. Like there's no real point. I'm getting very diminished returns, but I'm getting diminished returns on literally everything I'm training right now, so it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, just recall the ancestor here. He's gonna get a, a couple of kills in. Okay, that's an ice fiend. I need to kill this guy real quick. There we go, not bad. Uh, train one more point of int, and that gives my guy the quick blade, which is really good now. So he should be able to duel any elf in a 1v1 easily, uh, with no stress. Yeah. I'm not actually sure if it's worthwhile for me to train for more spells. Like, I don't really know if there are any other better spells for this character right now. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, the mid-range level ones. The best one I can think of is, uh, Mono Viper. And we don't have that. Like I said, uh, an immobile ally, like Lightning Spire, is probably not as good when we have a, like, constantly moving around and micromanageable character. It's kind of annoying to deal with. So, I'm just not gonna bother. Alright, my wrists are actually getting kind of tired from having the keyboard in this weird, awkward position. Someone, like I said, someone asked me to... God, stop. Someone asked me to uh, turn it down, the keyboard, so I'm moving it a little bit away from my thing, but this is really fucking hard to play. Ah. Well, it's it's not only that, I guess, but it's also the fact that... Uh, it's also the fact that like, I have to kind of press the arrow keys, and that's kind of weird. Like, on a keyboard, on a tiny-ass keyboard, it doesn't really hurt as much, but now that it's out here, it it's, like, actually kind of hard on my wrist. Ah. I've been doing wrist exercise to make sure that I don't, like, get RSI, but, you know, it doesn't seem to give me the flexibility that I need to play this game, apparently. <laughs> Alright, unknown, unknown wand. Disintegration, garbage. Alright, cool. Uh, summon butterfly is a great spell to pick up, just as a random thing. Um, invisibility is fine, but I already have it. There's no real point. I picked up a bunch of, uh, stuff at some point. Reflect, blink, RC minus, that's garbage, because of the RC minus. Uh, RLEC, RF, oh, that's incredible. That's a really good ring. The dex minus 5 is kind of painful, but whatever, we'll just deal with it. Alright, so if we take the thing off, we go from, we lose 5 AC, that's crazy. Okay, that's pretty bad. Well, we'll lose 2 AC from the dex minus 5 and 3 evade. Sorry, three, eight, three evade from the Ring of Evasion, and then two evade from the Dex minus five. Um, but we do get access to Arlec RF MR plus. Is that better than two AC? So I lose two. I lose two AC. I lose two evade. I gain RF and Arlec on that slot. That's actually not that good, to be honest. Um, we already have Arlec, and we already have RF. We only, like, that thing is only good because it gives us both RF and MR, which are both really good for Zot, because MR is good for dealing with ancient liches and such. For the time being, I'll just hold on to it, but I won't think, I don't think it's a very good spell for us, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Just gonna drop these books. Uh, Throw Frost, Force Lance, Freezing Cloud, and Light Gateway. Not really any spells that we're willing to train at this point in the game, I think. Cursed... Amulet of Inaccuracy, fuck that, we don't need that at all. So overall we haven't got Arc Road yet, so that means our third rune is going to be probably Vaults or Abyss. Which is not good either way. Alright, Animate Dead is quite good um, as a spell. Let's us get a small army quite quickly. And I'll just be auto-casting that I guess. I suppose we can pick up Death Channel, train some Necromancy and then continue on without Merry Away. It's not an incredibly good choice right now, considering I have already trained. I've already put so much effort into, like, being a spellcaster that isn't using necromancy, and then I go ahead and train a level 6 spell when it's already kind of useless at this point. I don't know. That's it's Like I said, I don't really know what to do with the XP that I got, so I'm not really, like, super worried about it. Alright, kill the Tormentor real quick, then kill the Summoner. Usually you kill the Summoner first, but I don't know. It was easy to kill the Tormentor, so I just do it. Uh, Scrolls of Brand Weapon. I'm gonna put that on the Demon Trident Draining a couple of times. Well. Can't see my face right now, but I'm just smiling. <laughs> just, I'm just, I'm just smiling. That's all I'm doing. God damn it. Alright, fine. Fine, fuck. We never get electrocution. We never get anything good. 
Then again, electrocution's still not good for killing orbs of fire, but whatever, you know. Because they're immune to electricity. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. So, our third rune should probably be abyss? No. Should it be abyss or should it be vaults? I guess it has to be vaults, but I'm, I'm just not, like, confident with my ability to do vaults. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel like it's the right choice. It just feels bad. Hmm, okay, well, I guess we'll go to vaults. I guess we'll do vault stuff third rune. I hate doing vaults, by the way. If you guys have watched my videos, you'll know that I very rarely do vaults, like, as my third rune. It's always, almost always slime, and before the nerfs, it was always abyss. Like, every single time it was abyss. Is there anything else we can do to, like, kind of put this off a little bit? I guess we can go into crypt, but nah, we, we won't bother. Alright, so the first one, the first thing we should do is just buff up, I guess. I'm not going to use Ozakubo's armor just because it doesn't seem... I don't want to get weighed down too easily down there. Uh, I'm just going to pull down. Okay, I can actually fight this one. I'm going to pull like this. Uh, QO. I'm going to cast uh, Idealize and then swap my guy to here. Then I'm going to cast my buff spells, and I'm going to try to hold my ground in this area. I'm also going to Might Up and Agility to reduce the amount of damage that I can take at any point in time. Main reason why I felt like I could do this is because this corridor is actually quite useful for killing a bunch of stuff. Um, and I think it's okay to... I think it's like a reasonable thing. I probably could have Idealized one more time there, but uh, to keep my guy alive a little longer, but it's fine. I think this is actually quite doable. Alright, this character was significantly stronger than I was uh, expecting at the time. Great, that was excellent. I'm going to pull upstairs now, reset the fight. Free buff this time. That was actually very easy. Okay. I guess melee characters do have a much easier time of this. Um, but there have been like significantly bad situations that have happened to me. Whoa, that was a lot of stuff to re uh, regenerate. That was, that was awesome, actually. Idealize took care of so much stuff because... Um, Basically what happened is he mass confused the entire area, nothing fought me, and then I just killed a bunch of stuff instantly. That was excellent. Okay, now I got just like a whole bunch of stuff to clear out. Most of this is just fine now. As long as I don't get like swamped or swarmed, I should be okay. Okay, I need to get my mana back a little bit. There we go, perfect. So usually how vaults is done is uh, you teleport if you're too weak to take on the main vault outside and then you kind of just run for it I guess uh, and then you try to find a way to stabilize and then clear from there uh, however this character was actually strong enough that I didn't have to bother with that um, that's a little bit risky sometimes because if you get mocked while you're like in that middle of just I have no idea where I am you are in big trouble sometimes so I needed to be careful I'm gonna mm, okay you know what I think I think that Deflect missiles is actually worth way more than char uh, significantly more than um, than Death Channel at this point in time. But at the same time, I do have to train it at a negative two training, so it kind of does suck. But whatever, it's fine. It should be okay. I'm gonna drop that Book of Enchantments now. It's probably worthless. Uh, these spells suck. Book of Debilitation. These spells suck as well. Let me just check one more time. Cause Fear is okay, but Hexes need to be trained more, so it's kind of worthless. Uh, Agony, again, not really worth training for. Passage of Gloober is not bad, but it's disabled in Zot, which is where we're going next, so it's not really good um, anymore. It used to be kind of broken, a little bit uh, abusable. Damn, I freaking love the Hexer once it gets to level 24, man. The power on that uh, on that Mass Confuse plus the Anti-Magic is just ridiculous. It's very good. But yeah, the usual rule that I have for Zot is... Uh, sorry, for... Um, for Vaults 5, is if you can get to full health, full mana, with one significant rest, you've pretty much won the entire floor, because at that point you've stabilized. Um, it's usually how I use, how I determine stabilization in the game. Uh, so because I got that full rest off, I was like, okay, I pretty much don't have to worry about threats now. Um, I know that's a weird rule of thumb to have, because it's often, it doesn't take into account a lot of context, but that's just like a general way that I gauge the damage or like the threat of the floor. Vaults 5 is almost like one big boss floor. 
Unlike the Royal Jelly, which is just one boss, you actually have to fight the entire floor uh, in order to get a good... In order to get the rune, basically, because you don't know which vault is uh, the one that gives you the rune. It doesn't look like this one is, uh, the top right, so I'm probably just going to head top left now, I guess. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and enchant the shield. I guess I'll just do it, whatever. I should have probably done it before, but, yeah. Ring, Arcroid, RN++. Plus, plus. I could probably do slime now with that, but, eh. I kind of want to move on to better and greater things, but, I don't know. How long have we been recording? 20 minutes. Yeah, we can probably do... Uh, sorry, the plus 7 glaive of flame RF plus C invis. Not bad, but not good either. Not good enough for us to switch over to and train for at this stage in the game. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just kind of want to get this guy done for now and then just start a new character. I, I've been wanting to play a mage. I haven't played a mage in a while. And it should also be kind of fun to watch uh, or listen to mage because I'll be pressing a significant amount of keys. Like, if you think that pressing keys here is bad, or good, depending on how your views are on the keyboard, it's gonna get way, way, way more pronounced when I play Mage. Because my Mage sounds like a machine gun on a laptop keyboard. So, playing this shit on, like, an actual computer is gonna be, uh, pretty ridiculous. And I'll try to, like, semi-speedrun it too, so that we get as much key presses per second as we can. Alright, so we couldn't get it in the top left either. Looks like we're gonna have to go over here. That's an ancient lich, that's really bad. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to get into. Okay, never mind. I was gonna wait for him to get into contact with my anti magic guy before idealizing, but it does not look like that is a viable option. I'm gonna go ahead and just cast a wall of fire behind uh, in front of me right now. Okay, this Red Warden just did not care that he was in a fire. He's like, I'm staying right here. You can't tell me to move otherwise. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, some garbage jewelry. Cool, free up some slots. Uh, idealize here, and then just kill, hopefully. I need the, um, the anti-magic from that, uh, from the stand to kind of take care of the guy. Holy crap, I hate Shadow Dragons, man. They do so much damage for some reason. I never know why. Alright, but we got heavy drained and then we just kind of undrained by killing him. So that's not too bad, I guess. Alright, pre-buff. Business as per the huge. Got a bit unlucky today. Got the rune at the wrong t at the worst possible time. Or like the last possible step. Uh, now we're gonna fall really low in health, surprisingly. I'm gonna throw a vial of floods here just to kind of make things uh, distracted as I run away. Again, you can still do that at zero Evo, which is why I still think that zero Evo is good. Someone always tells me, oh, you should get Evo, it's good for your wands. I'm like, what the fuck did you just say to me? What? Wands? Who uses that shit? That's garbage. Using the other game, fam. Uh, what's all this stuff? Ring of. Okay, it's a bunch of uh, shadow wraiths. I completely forget that there are things. Like, I always forget that those exist, because they're just never visible. Okay, at some point I just passed up a, uh, Scroll of Enchant Armor, I think. Just on the floor somewhere. I just wasn't paying attention. I just missed it. Okay, let's go down there and pick it up. Oh, I guess we did pick it up. Yeah, we did. Huh. Interesting. Alright, so we've got a plus five shield of poison resist now. It's not the best shield to have. I'd rather have, like, a shield of protection or a shield of, like, reflection or something like that. That'd probably be a little bit better to get plus five, but whatever. We have so much enchant armor, and, like, it really doesn't matter anyway. We're so close to the end of the game. It doesn't... It's not a huge deal, I think. Like, most of the stuff now is just completely... Like, most of the combat situations have already been locked in. I can't really pick up anything new now. I'm just kind of... You just kind of see, like, hey, are you strong enough to deal with Zot? If not, then, well, goodbye. Say goodbye. Unlucky. Okay, so I have a thought now. I have two... I need two pips... I, I'd prefer to have two pips of RF. So what I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to take off the ring of uh, Vihal. I'm going to put the... This ring on. This R Alec MR Plus ring. At the cost of losing a little bit of my defense. Not not too much, though, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, 
And then if I need to, I can switch back. I think that's probably the good idea. A, pro a good idea. I don't know. I see I. Oh, sorry. I see I equals R equals shift R, and then I can remove the inscription on this thing. So then this becomes the new AC plus two. I think AC is probably a little better than evade, but I don't know. I mean, we don't have GDR or anything cool like that. Any fancy shit like that. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, GDR is not a thing, guys. Don't don't worry about GDR. Sorry, I have to be responsible because there might be children listening. Um, oh, another ring. Uh, Wiz, Wiz is not that good at this point. Like I said, we already have really good armor. That's oh, right, really good spells, so it doesn't really matter. All right, let's go to Zot. This character is probably good enough to deal with Zot. We have a decent number of consumables, I think. Uh, seven teleports is probably way more than we need. A shame we wasted all our bl like we didn't use any of our blink scrolls. Kind of sucks. We only have four scrolls of magic mapping, so one of the flaws have to be unmapped when we play. Uh, mutation potions. Uh, not that many actually. We might have to go find some. I think we will. We left one by Roxanne, I believe. Uh, three potions of might, not really that great. Five potions of agility, all right. Five potions of haste, pretty good. And twelve potions of heal wins. I really haven't had to heal win this game at all, so it's been nice. All right, well, we're just gonna uh, do do the regular Zot thing. We'll probably just. What is that? Oh, it's like a teleporter trap. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, there's just a bunch of stuff there I don't want to deal with. I'm going to go ahead and read the scroll of magic mapping now. Alright, nice. There's a, just a free downstairs to the south. Oops, that was not the right thing that I wanted to do here. What's going on? What do you mean I can't go down here? What are you telling? Okay, that was odd. Scroll of brand weapon. I'm going to put that on the demon trident of draining. Okay, that's a really good demon trident now. Um, plus seven electrocution, obviously very good against most things. Uh, it's not like incredible, of course. Uh, electrocution is fine. It's 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 good. Like there's no real downside to it, other than it just doesn't affect the orbs of fire. But whatever, who cares about that? I'm gonna abuse the fact that I have digging um, here to create some kill holes. This is like not the best way to do a kill hole, especially because the orb of the moth of wrath is just in the way. Use a lamp of fire to kill that guy. That was really annoying. I probably should be using my spells, but I feel like there's not enough time. I need to kill those uh, high priority targets first. But that might be wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Who who knows at this stage? All right. So we got shafted. Um, not not in the literal sense, but like in the sexual sense. Why is that on that button? That should be on Shift P. Uh, we got we got sort of shafted here a little bit. Um, because all our ups downstairs are over there. But on the plus side, we got repel missiles. Kind of working, sort of. Like, I guess. I'm going to train some more spell casting. Sure, why not? Get some more dodging and whatnot. Alright, so I think that it's probably... Like, that upstairs that we have to Zot 1 is so good that um, I think it's worthwhile for us to make this long trek on Zot 2 rather than take that upstairs over there. Uh, unless there's like a... Uh, excuse me. Unless there's like a good setup for uh, that door. Like, I, th I, th I thought the other door upstairs was like... Both of them were really far away from the entrance, so it wasn't worth doing. I'm pretty sure that's the case anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and check it out. And, oh, feeling watched by something. What's Who's watching me? Are you watching me? Yeah, this isn't a really spectacular place to pop up, so I'm just going to go ahead and not do that. I probably just won't deal with that upstairs at all. Like, this, this is no real point, I think. I will clear around this area, though, because I don't want to be backspawned on the way up. It's just annoying. Having Knowing my luck, though, I will be backspawned on the way up, so... we got to just kind of minim minimize the chances, so when we actually do get backspawned, we can get angry about it. Alright, another scroll of enchant weapon. Put that on the demon trident, please. Drop the plus zero and plus two, I guess. It's never going to be good at this point in the game. Plus one ring of slaying. Thank you, but no thank you. There's no point in that. At this point, we have better stuff, I think. Okay, so I guess we'll go down this staircase, having it as it's the closest one to, like, our upstairs, even though it's kind of not. 
Uh, oh, good. Oh, sweet. Cool. So that, um, that little pop in there. Oh no, that's really bad. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I'm gonna pull away here. Yeah. So the fact that Zot Three has a super close up and downstairs relationship there uh, means that I don't have to actually magic mapping this floor. I can just skip it, which is good because I was planning around um, skipping one floor anyway. So, hooray! All right, we're getting a little bit wrecked by these guys. I'm going to use the fact that I have evocable invisibility to just fuck up invisibility four times in a row. Um, but now that I am invisible, right, uh, I can almost die to these guys, like, really badly. What the fuck, man? Who said you could do that to me? I didn't consent. Look, dude, just get the fuck out of here, right? Get, get Vala flooded, idiot. God damn. Alright, that was, that was uh, hilariously bad. That was catastrophically bad. Not bad. Appreciated. I don't know how Zot 3 became such a clusterfuck, but yeah, I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. Uh, kill the Moth of Wrath, I guess. Just in case something else shows up, and then I have to deal with another, another Berserk enemy. I don't really want to do that, so... Yeah, not bad. Alright, dig through this wall here. Oh, I have to clear this floor, because it's Zot 4. Um, I want to have access to all three of my upstairs, so i got to clear it. Bit unfortunate, but hey, it's fine. Step back a bit, let my stand do a bit of work. Absorb a bit of the punishment, and then go invisible, I guess. Using my evocable invisibility, or invoke... Yeah, evocable invisibility. Gonna pull away now. This is a little bit risky. I'm pretty sure the tentacle monstrosity moves faster than me, but for some reason I'm just outrunning him. Don't exactly know why, but yeah. Just pull back into a corridor, and also closer to the unknown. Uh, closer to the known. That position all the way down there was kind of unfavorable for us. A lot of places to be surrounded, I suppose, um, and just generally taken care of. Gonna go invisible again, because that's a really good debuff against Draconians who cannot see invisible. Um, and then just, yeah, raise the dead, do some stuff, you know, the normal stuff. Just kill a couple of guys. Where am I? Where's my undead? Are, are there really no corpses here? That's ridiculous. That's insanity. There are absolutely no corpses here. That is ridiculous. I feel so bad. Just in general. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Also, if you didn't notice, uh, my aircon ran out, and now it's starting to burn already. Like, it's only been about two minutes, and I'm already, like, sweltering. That's the, that's the joy of the Australian landscape. You just get to, uh, like, just die. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Australia, the, the country that wants to kill you. That's a plus two large shooter reflection. That's really fucking tempting to take. Like, I really want that. Like, a lot. How badly does that fuck up my spell casting? Oh, it's so close to not being horrible. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm a badass. No. I, I'm not gonna... You can't tell me what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna enchant it, too. Just to double down on it. I'd much rather have reflection here than an extra shield. Actually, wait. I only get five shield from it? Seriously? I got six shield from it. That's not that good, actually. Nah, it's alright. Nah, it's not good. Nah, I'll just use the shield of poisonous. Damn it. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> I was trying so hard to make, like, a solid decision, and I just, I fucked it. <sighs> You're a coward, Demise. You're a coward. You can't make the hard calls when you needed to. And that costs you your life. Okay, let's just X that. Oh, actually, we should X that whole area out rather than just Xing one little bit out. If you're wondering how to do that because this is your first time watching for some reason, uh, that's sh uh, the command for that is Shift X and then E over a tile. Pretty useful. Sets exclusion so your auto explorer doesn't go through it. Pretty basic, straightforward stuff, I think, at this point. Alright, pull upstairs. Oh, wait, no, we don't need to pull upstairs. We'll just go over here a little bit. Come on, man, just, come on, just, just get over here, get up here, shout a little bit, draw some guys towards you, rinse and repeat, the end. Like, just, it's not that hard, come on. Alright, pull ups. Nah, uh, I keep saying pull upstairs, but there's no upstairs. I keep thinking that my, myself, I'm on upstairs because my cloak is, like, grey. Gonna go shift X, control F here, 
refresh the whole area just to make sure that there's nothing uh, kind of escaping my grasp. Looks like there is some stuff here, this electric golem, it's kind of annoying, but because of my RLEC and the fact that I have a decent-ish weapon, I can continue to fight. That's a lot of electric golems, that's three electric golems on Zot 5, that's crazy. It's like the most, that's actually the most encountered enemy on Zot 5 right now, that's pretty ridiculous if you think about it. I respect that though. All the fire, okay, so this is where we start switching to the ring of fire protection. I don't think there's any point in me trying to go for like any uh, specific strategy other than just idealize my guy. Um, the anti-magic weapon from the Hexer makes this area a lot more straightforward than it should be. Uh, anti-magic again is really busted. If you guys play Berserkers you know why, uh, it just completely annihilates all spellcasters and anything based on magic, and generally speaking all the danger in this game comes from magic, uh, usually. Or things that are just faster than you, that's also like quite a thing as well. But look at that, like he didn't even get a touch me, he just hit me once with a fireball splash and that's it. Orbs of fire are piss easy if you have an anti-magic weapon. Um, well, I wouldn't say piss easy, but like they're much more straightforward than you would expect. Ah, fuck, we got a this. Oh, that's a rune. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can pick up the rune while I'm here. Uh, let's just uh, quickly haste up and then just um, agility as well, just to just so we don't die like to all this random shit that's on the screen right now. Like, I can easily fight all this stuff, it's not a huge deal. Like, I'm already doing it. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the fourth rune then. I was gonna grab it anyway, but uh, I guess I'll do it. Oh, that's a dis that's a torment guy. I don't really care for having another rune, so I'm just gonna go ahead and teleport. Oh god, okay, now we got, we got fucked anyway. Okay, well, I see how it is, guys. You don't have to, you don't have to rub it in, it's fine. I'm, I'm running, I'm leaving. I'm getting the fuck out of here. There's no need to be upset, come on. Jesus. Alright, well, I guess we are in Abyss 5, so we are in a little bit of dire straits right now. We're not actually in Rest Town right now. <sighs> that's a, uh, that's a lich for you. Hopefully we just get a way out at some point. We just got horribly malmutated. Christ, okay. That's really not good. We need to kill some stuff here. They're, those were transient mutations, those uh, purple things. And if I don't kill stuff, I won't cure out of those, so... There we go, not bad. I'm just gonna rest here a couple of turns just to make sure my stand comes back, if it does. Cool. Uh, let's actually cancel out. Actually, we only have one left. I think what we'll do is we'll just haste out. Um, and then pull out here, kill that ancient lich now. That was a bit unfortunate, really. We just got kind of destroyed by that uh, this five. We lost a couple of consumables, it wasn't a huge deal. But uh, definitely for a, a newer player, that could throw them off a lot. And, you know, the main, the main thing in this game is just be calm. Continue your day as if nothing happened. And that's uh, very straightforward sometimes. So I saw a very dense... Um, I saw a very dense cluster of guys coming towards me. So that indicates... Of really high level guys too. So that indicates that there's some kind of teleport trap. Like, somewhere over here in one of the chambers, which is why it's all deflating with really high level stuff. Uh, using this strategy, I'll just be able to kind of clear them all out before I get there, which will help me immensely when I actually try to go and take on the lungs. The lungs are significantly harder to do um, if they're full. I, I call them lungs because they look like lungs, kind of. Um, and I, I use the term deflate to indicate that the weapon, uh, the enemy density is a lot lower. So. Because I've killed so many guys, I'm like fairly certain that the enemy density is very low now. Um, and every time I kill another another one of these guys, it just lowers the density further, so I'm happy about it. Um, these aren't great mutations, but I'm not going to really worry about them right now. They're not like super dangerous. Like deterioration is just a couple of stat points. Potions restoring less health is kind of bad, but if I just spam enough, it's fine. Like I'll just heal. Um... But yeah, now that we've kind of cleared sort of the area, we can just kind of walk on through, and hopefully there's not like a hundred billion enemies on this side. It does annoy me when I see like an orb of fire here, when I've already killed like a bunch of them, but it's fine. It's all good. Uh, I don't need int anymore, but I'm going to train it one more time. It gets my deflect missiles up, and that just is nice to have. 
I probably should switch that lodge, should I? Nah, whatever. We'll just... We'll, we won't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, let my stand rest up for a bit. And then continue on. Press on, guys. Press on. We've been recording for 40 minutes now. I feel bad. I need to stop recording, turn my icon back on. Alright, this is, like, the worst position for you to be in. Fighting multiple orb guardians at the same time. Uh, in fact, it's so bad here. I'm actually gonna... Just, I'm just gonna haste. There's a lot of stuff. And that was pretty bad. I just got impatient. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, this is not a bad spot to be in, I think. I'm gonna get a box of beasts here. As you can see, there he's quite strong. Uh, he does up to 26 damage, which is not too bad. And he breathes fire, apparently, this one, so that's kind of cool. I'm gonna cast regen here, just so that I have a little bit more health when I go back. Yeah, see, I didn't want to get backspawned, but I got backspawned, so... That's why the regen was there, just to make sure I have a little bit more health. I mean, with 245 health, I'm pretty good, but... Um... Oh, also, I forgot which upstairs I'm supposed to take. Is it this one? No, it's this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, cool. I'm just going to go put my um, a couple of exclusions around this one so I remember which one it is. It's kind of hard to see because I have friggin' bloodstains on it, but, you know. Whatever, it's fine. It's all good, man. It's all good. Okay, just going to eat a couple of rations here just to make sure I'm engorged. There's no reason not to at this point. I've kind of uh, cleared the entire area out, and there's almost no reason for me to keep all this food anyway. I'm pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to do one rest here, then grab the orb, and go to this staircase here. No, why would you go that way? That's just dumb. Okay, fine, I'll just have to manually do it then. I don't know why I thought that would work for me. I'm foolish. Or maybe I just see the best in people. And I just, I'm like, hey, Kroll's interface isn't horrible, right? I can, I can make it out. And it'll, it'll know what I want. It never knows what I want. Alright, pull upstairs. Just dig straight through this wall. There we go. GDO now. No, not this one, you scumbag. Oh my god. Alright, fine. GDO this one, please. Alright, that's a Titsumitl. I really don't want to deal with him, but I have to because he's in the way. I somehow did not get tormented that whole time. That was incredible. Oh, that's a pan lord. Oh fuck. Uh. Uh. What can he do? Poison cloud corrosive bolt. Alright, that's pretty scary actually. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the arc road here. Then I'm gonna berserk him. I guess that's not a great plan, but I just need to kill him real quick. But the anti-magic should... Yeah, the anti-magic is tearing through him. It's fine. Okay, I'm good. I don't like fighting here. This is stressful. I'm just going to go ahead and dig my way through this entire area. There's some invisible prick chasing me, but... Oh, there he is. <laughs> thanks for the uh, thanks for the light, Mr. Seraphim. Appreciate it. All right, GEO here. Another Titsumital. Oh, we actually have a lot of RN, thanks to that Arca Road thing that I forgot to take off. Sweet, I'm just going to keep it on then. See, I'm so skilled that, like, I'm... Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to haste here. <sighs> okay. I'm not triggered. I'm not, not pissed off at all. I'm fine. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. All right, we're in the abyss again. Abyss fall this time. We need to kind of make our way out, hopefully. Please let us out. Like, I probably won't die in here, but I will lose certain consumables that might be a bit scary. Should I bother training? Nah, I won't, I won't bother switching this out. Electrocution is still a good brand, anyway. So we're just going to run away, run around a little bit. Uh, scrolls take me a little longer to read. Oh, hell no, I'm keeping. I'm getting rid of that. I must get rid of that. That's pretty bad, actually. Sweet. Okay, our vision... Ah, oh, we're frail. Okay, I need to do it again. Alright, this is fine. Heat resistance, ah, poise, whatever. I, I don't care. That's what I mean by... Even though those, like, mutations were all bad, it's probably not good to... It's probably not always a good idea to bother unmuting, mutating out of shit, because oftentimes you just end up with worse stuff, thanks to the clusterfuck that they call the mutation system now. Like, it's been horribly changed to just completely fuck with the player. Um, so it's not, it's not great. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport here, just because I don't want to deal with this uh, profane servitor. He's gonna take too long to kill. Just a pain in the ass, really. Recall my stand. 
through the abyss. Incredible. Okay, I'm gonna kill a bunch of these low low level guys. Hopefully that helps me just kind of. All right, no, I'm, I'm getting mutated again. Fucking hell! God, this is so annoying. I'm just gonna teleport again. Why not? I'm I'm really annoyed by this. This is just like an annoyance on the way home. It's just come on, man. We can we can just get me out of here. That'd be great. Like I'm not I'm not struggling in this place at all. Please, just let me out. Got me mutated to frail, motherfucker. Motherfucker. All right, come on, Rakshasa. Come on, let's not let's not fuck with me. All right, come on. I'm I'm not having a great day. Right? I'm I'm not even here because I want to be here. I was just kind of delayed. A real prick of a pan lord just decided to mess with me there. Annoying much. All right, where's my where's my portal out? Come on now. I've killed a lot of guys. Is that portal out? Hell yeah. Teleport and then pull out and then just kind of teleport please thank you oh no i forgot i remember where this place is oh no this is the enchantress floor uh, all right we're gonna have to take the scenic route here i think um we're just gonna dig our way through the entirety of the outside of this floor <laughs> um and then we're just gonna you know just surgically strike our way into the area Wow, the true ninja, a master of disguise. Why did you not go up this? Oh, that was, I missed my input. God damn it. All right, I'm gonna teleport one more time here. I'm just gonna blink around and faff about until this guy gives up on me. Hey, stop, don't come near me. Ah, uh, you son of a bitch. All right, all right, I see how this is. Okay, I see how, I see how you, I see how you're doing. I'm not a fan though. I'm gonna go down this staircase. Pop up out of another one. It's like whack-a-mole. It's ridiculous. Godlike reaction speed. Look at that. Perfect strategy. A master tactician. Truly, the skill to as ascend with the orb of Zot. Where's my stand? Where's he? There he is. I had to like pull him back for a second. I don't know where the hell he went. He's probably lost in the abyss. I don't know. And I just pulled my leash on him. No, come back. There we go. All right, GDO. God damn it. All right, GDO. Come on. Why can't it just be that like I just GDO and then I win the game instantly? Like just that's bullshit. That's dumb. Oh, there we go. Instantly won the game. All right, awesome. A couple of scuffles there. A lot of uh, an, uh, a lot actually of those stupid pan lords. But thankfully we were able to get out of that and hooray, we won. So that's going to be the end of this series. I'm probably going to do a mage tomorrow, uh, or I might release the Hearthstone stuff tomorrow. I need to stop talking right now because this video is fucking long. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all whenever I see you.